Joker is smashing all kinds of box office records all over the world, except in one major movie market, and that's China. It's to be assumed that, you know, China, which can be pretty stringent in the kinds of movies they'll show to the public, has problems, you know, with a movie that's supposed to be very violent and, you know, just very dark. They didn't show other movies like Suicide Squad and Deadpool there for those very reasons. They were supposed to be too graphically violent, you know, too bloody for a country like China, which apparently doesn't like showing those kinds of movies to the public. I've never been to China, but apparently that's how it is there. But, ironically, the Joker character himself is proving pretty popular there. You know, his face and his likeness is showing up in protests going on right now. So that may be the real reason why China doesn't want to play there. Because if the movie is popular with them, and that character is popular with them there, that movie might inspire, you know, even more protests and more people to put on Joker masks or makeup and, you know, give the government some problems. Very interesting. I'm going to read a few things about, you know, Joker protests in Hong Kong. Apparently there's some stuff going on with them, you know, protesting and marching against the communist government there. China's a communist government that exhibits, exercises a lot of very, you know, rough control over its citizens. Some pretty oppressive stuff from what I've heard. Well, read online. I don't know anybody who lives in China personally, but that's what I've read. But people are wanting to rise up, and they're using the Joker as a symbol. The Joker and other other people too, like Winnie the Pooh and other things. Um, Guy Fox masks, that sort of thing. But let's read some of this stuff on CNN. In Hong Kong, where pro-democracy, anti-government protests have stretched on for four months, the mask of the Joker holds greater weight and reveals a divide between some protesters who see themselves reflected in him and others who were horrified at the comparison. Joker, which tells the stories of a failed stand-up comedian who turns to murder in Gotham City, is ultimately about the making of a monster. Warner Media, the parent company of CNN, has said the movie does not aim to hold the, this character up as a hero. Nonetheless, some in Hong Kong seem to have drawn inspiration from the character and the film. Viewers on social media point out that both Gotham and Hong Kong are home to groups of discontented people who feel abandoned by their government and a rich elite. In the movie, Gotham citizens and police officers fight in a subway station, an eerie echo of such scuffles in Hong Kong's own stations. At the end of the film, rioters vandalize parts of the city with what appears to be smoke or gas drifting through the air, similar to the tear gas, graffiti, and smash glass that have become routine in Hong Kong. In a twist of coincidence, Joker was released in Hong Kong just one day before authorities used colonial-era emergency powers to ban face masks and face coverings during public assemblies. So it was released in Hong Kong, but it's not being released in China? I guess they must have premiered it in Hong Kong, but not showed it to the rest of the country, because Hong Kong is in China. Joker has not, you know, got a Chinese theatrical release, but I guess it just played in that one city there, I think. It's because it's not in China right now. In destructive protest over the following week, outraged demonstrators wore all types of face coverings in defiance of the ban, including Joker masks and makeup in the style of the Joker, both Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger versions. Ooh, but not the Jared Leto version. <laughs> Man, his Joker really didn't catch on. After today, Hong Kong needs Joker, read one post on the online protest site LIHKG, the day after the ban was announced. Another used user called the Gotham Rioters martyrs and the Joker the symbol of the resistance and the spiritual leader of the rebels. Deacon Louis, a local photographer who has covered the protests, recently posted photos of himself in Joker makeup. The movie is about a minority in society constantly being ignored by those who hold the resources. They do not have the power the proper way to express their anger or such negative emotions. I think it's out of desperation that the Joker went crazy and chose to rebel. Similarly, with Hong Kong protesters accusing police of brutal force, people feel like they are helpless and they don't have a way to express it. In his Joker-inspired photo, Louis tips his head out a tram window, face painted like the Joker and illuminated by the neon city lights. Is it just me or is it getting crazier out there? <laughs> The caption reads, a quote from the film. And on Al Jazeera, they have an article talking about 
how people in Hong Kong, another one about, this is another article about the Hong Kong protesters. People are dressed up as like the Joker and Winnie the Pooh and devils. Early in the evening, some 100 masked protesters wearing masks of Yoda, Joker, and Guy Fox assembled in a park to pose for photos and repeat their demands as pro-democracy protests push on into their fifth month. As the parade kicked off, the masked revelers streamed out of the park heading west to Central's party neighborhood. Lan Kuei Fong, famous for its bustling bar scene and rowdy Halloween celebrations, chanting, Free Hong Kong! Revolution of Our Times. Um, basically, this is Hong Kong's last stand, said a person named Edward, who, like many protesters, declined to give his full name for fear of retribution from authorities. We want government accountability. We want police account accountability. It's not happening. We have to keep on coming out until they listen. If we don't come out, there will never be a chance for us to come again. So yeah. If Joker's not getting widespread release in China, this is probably why the government is afraid. Ironic, because here in the States, the media was upset, or they were warning us that Joker could inspire people in America to commit violence or act, you know, act out. The only thing it's done in America is make people pose in front of stairs. <laughs> but I guess, you know, in a country like China, which has a more oppressive government than, than the American government... Um, they're using the Joker as a symbol, an outlet for them to express their unhappiness. Civil unrest. So that explains it. Un so, you know, unfortunately, Joker will not make any money in China, most likely. Um, which, you know, is going to make it harder to reach that billion dollar benchmark. But, in a different way, it is striking a chord with the public, the public in China. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.